Hello everybody, welcome to another Android Studio tutorial. My name is Mitch Tabian and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the navigation bar and how to navigate with fragments in an app. So I'm probably going to, actually I will, I'm going to do a series of videos because there's just so much to cover with this topic. Um, but, but generally I'm going to just show you how to use the navigation bar and how to navigate between screens. So the first tutorial is going to be uh, you have this front page. This this actually doesn't do anything yet. It's going to be for the next the next part. Uh, you click up here. If you go to front page, it'll take you to this fragment. If you go to list view page, it'll take you to another fragment. And what I'm going to do in the following tutorial is show you how to populate a list view here uh, from here. Uh, these don't do anything yet because I haven't really haven't hooked them up. So we'll go ahead and start a new project. Call it. Uh, Navigation fragment tutorial. Navigate with fragments. Navigate with fragments tutorial. Uh, I think tutorial one. Yeah. And so make sure you click navigation draw activity when you create this. Otherwise, you're gonna have a ton of work to do. Uh, if you if you use the navigation draw activity here, it saves you so much work. Yeah, I think like the nav bar is the best way to navigate through an app. I think that I've seen so far, anyway. It's it's kind of hard to learn to start, but uh, that's why I'm gonna make make a bunch of tutorials on it. It's a really really powerful tool. See, it does all it does all this for you, so you don't have to build any of this basically. And all this is customizable too. Like you can change these images, this text, this color, all these menu items. It's it's pretty cool. Okay, what are we going to do first? Um, I guess the first thing is probably I want to do. So you actually have to add the frag or the frame layout. So this is the layout that's going to um, basically take over your app when you switch between fragments. And I'm going to do this in ID. Um, call it the fragment container. And this is this is what's going to be switched out every time you like click here, the fragment container will change, or you click over here, the fragment container changes. So that's what we use right here, and that's all we got to all we got to do in there. Um, I guess we'll create our first fragment first. We'll call it uh, front page, and we'll create the layout. So front page. Uh, I can just call it, what did I call it before, it was in just front page. <coughs> and we'll change it to relative layout. Just got, got an edit text right in the middle. Yeah, sure, throw it right in the middle. And then the button below. Let's do 200 dp for the width. Edit text. Uh, I don't even remember what I called that. Now we can just call it add, sure. And edit text add. Whoops. And the ID for the button. Oh, I already got one. Uh, let's call it button add to the list. Uh, I'm actually I'm gonna add a little bit of formatting into this too, just so it looks better. If if you haven't seen my tutorial on creating custom buttons, I'll put a link up here. I'm I'm not gonna explain what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna pop it in to save time. Uh, but if you want to learn how to do what I'm doing, I already put it in a notepad here. Just uh, go go check out that link, and I explain everything. And we'll copy that and create another one, call it black border. And there it is. 
this white. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, again, I'm I, I'm not going to explain that uh, in any detail, but if you want to know more about how I did that, then uh, just check out my other link in the tutorial there. We're going to click red. So there we go. Add a little bit of formatting to that. Okay. I guess um, I'll make my other layout right now too. Uh, what did I call it? Uh, list view page, I think. List view page. And all this is just going to be is a. Uh, oops, I got to change it to relative layout. I'm just going to create a text view here. Uh, with the match parent height wrap content ID um, uh, text I don't know what list view page sure there's some text in there this is the list view page Center. I'm also um, going to throw a color in here, so text color, uh, color, black. We have to define that, so we're going to values, going to color, and create a new color. I think I did, I've done this in another one of my tutorials, but I can't remember. But basically, you just stick a new color in here, look up the hex value. So the hex value for black is just 000, and I give it a name, call it black, then this. It will color the text. And we're going to do a margin on the top because the bar comes down. I think it's like 74 dp or something. But yeah, I guess we can just stick it right under the bar. And then I'm going to put a list view below this. Do match parent and match parent. Give it an ID. Call the list view. And we're going to put it below the text this view thing. There we go. And we'll also give this a background just to make it look better. So, border. There we go. No, oh, give this a background too. Oops. Okay, there we go. So, those are our layouts are done. We can close these. And actually, we'll work on the main activity here first. Okay. So the first thing we need to do, I like to. I'm not actually sure if these need to be global, but I I always make them global whenever I do a nav bar. So you just delete the navigation view here, and then declare it up here. It makes it global. And we're also going to do do the toolbar. Uh, where is it? Here. Copy that guy. Stick him up there. And delete the declaration. Okay. So now we have those. Oh, we're gonna make, we gotta make this null. Okay. And then the first thing we need to do is I'll, I'll even label this for you set the because there's so much stuff going on in this set the initial fragment which is going to be our front page fragment so it'll be front front page I should have called that I'm going to delete that and make it I'm going to call it front page fragment since I haven't actually done anything with it yet new front page Fragment. Front page fragment. Front page fragment is new. Front page fragment. And then we do a fragment transaction. This one. And make sure you use this library. If we use, uh, I don't, I don't use this library. I don't know how to use that one. I always use this one. So make sure you use that. Or maybe it was the other way around. I'll find out when I type this out. I think it 
think it was the other way around. Yeah, that, that's the one I know how to use. So I'll, I'll go over that again. So fragment, transaction. Don't use this one. Yeah, don't don't use that one. Use this guy right here. Just the Android.app. There we go. Uh, so, transaction. so then we replace our fragment. And this is where we stick our fragment container. Uh, and if, if this is kind of a little overwhelming for you, don't worry about it. Just copy it, and um, once you get kind of the basics of how to move between fragments down, it's very simple. So just just kind of bear with me here. So we're going to write this class now. So this is important too. When you uh, the library that you import for this. So import this library, not this library. So it's this guy right here. Make sure you use that one or it won't work. And with fragment we can generate an onCreate method. Oops, onCreate. We need to use the onCreate view. And we can delete this guy. It's return statement here. We're gonna go my view equals inflator dot inflate. And then we stick the layout in here, the front page, and there. And then at the end you have to return my view. So that's how you create a new fragment. Every fragment you create will have the exact same form as this, and then you just write your code in here. So it's the same as like a main activity, sort of, but it's just, just a little different. Okay, so why is that angry? Okay, so our, uh, our fragment transaction looks like it's wrong. So I don't know if it just won't import automatically, but this has got to be, uh, this has got to be different. It's got to be android.support.v4.app.fragmentTransaction. Yeah, and then this has got to be get support fragment manager. There we go. So, uh, yeah, if it doesn't automatically import for you, just just copy. Make sure this this is copied out properly. It's very important. Uh, so now that we have made our fragment, we've set our initial fragment view. Now we're going to scroll down and change what our other fragment views are going to be. So you go down to this this on nav navigation item selected and what that is is uh, this thing right here so this is the navigation item so if I click on the front page navigation item it takes you here click on the list view navigation item it takes you there so I'm gonna change some of these IDs I'm gonna change this to front page and I'm gonna change this to uh, list view page I guess and so what you do then is going to the nav header? No. It's going to app bar main. No, not that one. It's oh, it's in menu, right? So activity main drawer here, and this is where all your IDs are. So this one will change the front page, and we'll change the label to front page. And you can also change the images. See, this is the camera image right here, but I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. Um, so this will be a list view page, and what did I name it in here? list view page. So just stick that guy right here. Okay. Oh, I'm getting frozen here. Oh, I broke it. Oh, there we go. Okay. So now you can see these aren't red anymore. And so now you just want to put uh, code in here that's going to run basically every time you click on the front page item. So we're going we're gonna to go over here and take our initial fragment, copy that, and we're going to stick that into the front page. So now anytime the front page ID is called, uh, it's going to navigate to the front page fragment. And we're going to do the same thing for the list view page, except we're going to, I haven't created it yet. Um, yeah, actually, I haven't created it yet, so I won't 
I won't do that yet, so let's create the list view page. Or the list view fragment, I mean, so list view fragment. And I think, yeah, I already created the ID, but this is going to be pretty much identical to this. So you just copy, copy all this, don't copy the header, and just plop that in there, sure. And so what we're going to do is the same thing. Extends fragment, make sure you import that one. So it's got the v4 app fragment. And this is going to be our list view page. Oops. List view page. And that should be it. So now, so now we have our list view. Yeah, that's good. So now we can go back into our main activity and we'll create the fragment. So here we'll call it list view fragment. Create the, create the fragment here. And that's the same, and then just change this to let's be fragment. So there we go. That's all there is to it. Um, I will run it, and let's take a look. So you can see how once you get the initial setup done, it's very simple to navigate to different screens using the navigation bar. You just keep, um, you can keep adding items just like I've done here, and keep adding fragments. And uh, the, writing the code in the fragments is a little different than what you're probably used to, but that's why, once again, I'm going to make a video series and we're going we're gonna to go over all this stuff. That's still the old one loaded up there. I guess I can check my text while this loads. It takes forever. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's our front page fragment. Click on the navigation bar. Click on the list view fragment and it navigates there. I think you can hit back. Oh, that doesn't work. So these buttons actually, do, I don't think they work. Uh, what's that one? Yeah. So I don't know if you you can't hit back and go between fragments. So you gotta just click up here and take you. Okay. So yeah, in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, add items from a, in a list here, and then we'll um, display them in this fragment. So I'll see you in that next tutorial.